The Kraken by Alfred Lord Tennyson 1809-1892 Below the thunders of the upper deep, far, far beneath in the abysmal sea, his ancient dreamless uninvaded sleep the Kraken sleepeth. Faintest sunlights flee about his shadowy sides. Above him swell huge sponges of millennial growth and height. And far away into the sickly light, from many a wondrous grot and secret cell, unnumbered and enormous polypi winnow with giant fins the slumbering green. There hath he lain for ages, and will lie, battering upon huge sea-worms in his sleep, until the latter fire shall heat the deep. Then once by men and angels to be seen, in roaring he shall rise, and on the surface die. Okay, so this poem is about the Kraken. The Kraken is an enormous legendary sea creature that lives at the very bottom of the deeps of the deep oceans. Um, and this is by Lord Ten Tennyson, who's one of the most famous um, Victorian poets. He likes, he likes to write epic poetry uh, about things that happen. Yeah, and this is very, very much his style. So what's this poem about? Well, this describes the Kraken and it describes uh, where he lives. And at the very end, it says that the Kraken one day will wake up and it will come from the deep and it will be seen by the whole world and then it dies. And I think maybe this is a metaphor for um, revolution, for when people are very discontent about something, yeah, and suddenly a point comes where everything explodes and uh, there is just emotion everywhere and people come roaring to the surface. And then when that happens, this idea or this revolution dies because it doesn't follow through with the original intended purposes of it. So I don't know, for example, the French Revolution to make society m uh, more um, e egalitarian, to make things fair. And that's a great idea, but to do that by killing thousands of people, by executing people, that's not the way to do it. And uh, the, uh, perhaps the challenges of reality. So, let's see. Below the thunders of the upper deep, far, far beneath in the abysmal sea. So this is setting the, the scene. So, the upper deep, the top part of the sea, the part of the sea that man knows, that man can uh, access. And I think the thunder, the roaring of the waves. But we need to go much, much deeper than this. A long way deeper than this, in the abysmal sea, at the very bottom. His ancient, dreamless, uninvaded sleep, the Kraken sleepeth. So, the Kraken is asleep, yeah, and he, the Kraken is incredibly ancient, and he sleeps but without dreams, and nothing disturbs the Kraken. But maybe we are disturbing the Kraken by going to have a look at him, and maybe he'll wake up. Faintest sunlights flee about his shadowy sides. So, there is almost no light here. And the sunlight can't penetrate here, and this is a world of shadows. Above him swell huge sponges of millennial growth and height. So, he's now describing the area around him, and there are huge sponges, yeah, that have been growing for thousands of years. 
and far away into the sickly light from many a wondrous grot and secret cell unencumbered and enormous polypy winnow with giant fins the slumbering green so in the distance yeah you can see although the light is very dark in from many a wondrous grot so a grot is sh a shortening of grotto a grotto is like a secret cave and secret cell so from many wonderful secret spaces there are unencumbered so nothing to keep them in enormous polypi or polypi um a polyp is just something that grows and it's got this great um huge shape and they winnow, they fan with giant fins, the fins of a fish, the slumbering green. So they make that these polypi, they have fins that move, and these make make for movement of the water in the sleeping green, in this sleeping green place. There hath he lain for ages and will lie battering upon huge sea worms in his sleep. So he has lied there, he hath lain, he has lied there, he has laid there for many, 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 many millennia. And he will continue. And I think he moves about in his sleep and he batters, he hits enormous sea worms that are also down there. So he's moving about in his sleep. And then the poem changes. Until the latter fire shall heat the deep. So later at some point something will fire him up, it will heat him up. And this is the idea of an impassioned revolution, of something changing and things change. Yeah, then once by men and angels to be seen. So, for, for once, and once only, he will be seen by men and by heaven and by everything. Because the Kraken is something from the old world, something from the beginnings of time. And this will roar to the surface. In roaring he shall rise and on the surface die. So, this feeling, this revolution this outburst will come to the surface and then the kraken will die so he will be seen once and uh, i think he will affect all and everything and then that's the end of it so when the kraken reaches the air that's th that's the end so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Kraken by Alfred Lord Tennyson